Okay, here we are going to make a graph of a power function so that the first part is we want the function to be growing and the value for p is in between of 0 and 1. So this right here is just testing you guys to see if you guys remember my lectures. All right, here is the deal. You have three kinds of growing, right? So let me just remind you guys, either you have a graph like this or you have a graph like this or you have a graph like this. They are all growing in the sense that the y values are getting bigger and bigger, but it depends on the situation, right? Growing, so again, it's one of these. Remember, this one right here is the one that for the value of p, it's in between of 0 and 1. So the answer is just going to be something like this, such as the square root of x. We did that in the previous video. Likewise, also the cube root of x because it's the one half power and also the one third power right in the previous video so this right here will be the answer for that well the second part is we want the function to be growing but at an increasing rate so which of this right here is growing at an increasing rate it's this one right so remember this right here is that you are growing but each every time it's faster and faster so you will have a curve curving up like that. So you just have to give me an example like this and you are done, right? This right here is the linear growth. That means each every time you increase, right, you grow, it's the same amount each every time. And this right here, again, is you growing, but each every time the amount is getting smaller and smaller, um, the growth, right? So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't have to do too much for this question. You just have to remember the things I talk about in the lecture videos.